We've designed Follower to be the best way to get all the content you want from the creators you love. So if you really love a particular podcast, you may want to see the tweets from that podcaster. If you love a particular Twitch creator, maybe you want to see their Instagram feed. Whatever they make, wherever they make it, we want to put it all together into one flow. And most importantly, that flow is chronological, not algorithmic. We're giving people everything they love with no curation. It's the right way to consume your, your social media content. So it's a, it's a great aggregate that pulls in all of the content from all your, your favorite content creators into one place, into one stream. We imagine our user journey would be, a user arrives because they dig a single creator and they come through a single channel. I like this person on Twitter. They arrive and they'll see the tweets, but then they will also see the other content created. Hopefully they'll think it's pretty neat and then they'll click the button to sign in. And if they sign in using their Twitter account, their Spotify account, their YouTube account, their Goodreads account, their Instagram account, we'll pull the creators they follow and all the stuff they make. When somebody comes to it, we want them to be able to understand how to use follower from the very beginning. There is no learning curve. There is no hiding stuff behind them signing or a click through. They get all the information and that was really important in the way that we design it is that when they arrive there, they know exactly how to use it. Bristol and Bath R&D and the Amplified Publishing Programme has been invaluable in this. We would never have set out on this journey without the funding. I believe it's a great product and I believe it will have a commercial future. But the leap from, I have a neat idea, to here's the prototype, it exists, it's real, is a journey that we wouldn't have undertaken. So right now, with Follower, only about 12 people have actually seen it and, and used it. And so we're gearing up to have a private alpha where we're pushing out to around 100 people who can actually get their hands on it, use it, and we're hoping to get a lot of interactive data back from that, so then we can reapply that into our design and redevelop where we need to. Follower has quite a bit of potential because it's designed around what you like. So when we talk about our target audience, what authors do you like, what podcasts do you like, what music do you like, what games do you like, which creators do you like? Everybody likes things, and to get more of the stuff they like is a dead easy proposition, which suggests that and everyone should have an account.